your heart be ready and would glory fill your soul if your master would come for you today is your life so full of duty that your lord is crowded out do you neglect to study and to pray would your heart be ready and would glory fill your soul if your master would come for you Christian greetings to our viewers at home we thank God for his mercies that have gathered us here together once again so that we can deliberate on his word we have entered into the second month of the year I am sure when the year started we made some resolutions have we gone back to revisit them yeah. I'm sure when the year started we made some pledges to God have we gone back to revisit those pledges has our faith grown just a little bit if not while the year is still beginning let's go back to God let's go back to the drawing board and find out the reason why God has kept us for yet another year and we walk in his way and do that which he requires from us. Our lesson for today is lesson six, from arrogance to destruction. With me here today is Brother Mushe Tarawa, Sister Tandili Shuru, and Sister Lutwicha Lishe. I'm Brenda Nube, your host. Shall we bow our heads as we pray? Sister Lishuru will pray for us. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you a lot for your mercy. You deserve to be honored. You wake us up this morning. You gave us this opportunity of coming together to discuss your word. May your Holy Spirit be with us, guide us throughout the lesson, bless us and bless the viewers at home in a very special way. In Jesus' name we ask, Amen. 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 Welcome once again, lesson six, from arrogance to destruction. Our memory text comes from Daniel chapter two, verse is 21, I will read in your hearing. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and he raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. That is Daniel chapter 2, verses 21. Uh, our lesson has some uh, uh, subsections. Uh, the first one, given the harsh punishment which was to be meted against whoever failed to interpret the king's dream. It was only appropriate for Daniel to give praises, praises to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now the first one says, he changes times and seasons. Mm -hmm. The time had arrived for Daniel, his friends and the king, and the king's wise men to die. God changes the time and season of sadness to that of joy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. second one, he removes kings and he puts kings. Mm -hmm. His part, this part of Daniel's praise was to tell the king that his action would not change what God had said about the end of his kingdom. He was a king because God wanted him to remain a king, but only as far as he keeps God's status. Mm. And the last one gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge of them that know understanding. The king had relied on his, wis uh, on his wise men who had no God. Mm. When he turned to Daniel, Daniel turned to God. Mm. It was God who gave him the wisdom, hence he managed to interpret the dream. That's why he gave all the glory to God. Mm. Amen. Amen. Now, when I was reading the same memory text, I was reminded of the great writer and psalmist in the book of Psalms chapter 5 verse 6 and 7 which I will read Amen. it reads for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor mm. from the south but God is the judge he mm. putteth down one and setteth up another mm. so this simply says all the changes and revolutions in states of kingdoms and in all times and ages they are from God he is the king of kings, the lord of lords, and by him they reign and continue their thrones as long as he pleases. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it basically goes back to God's dominion and sovereignty over everything that is on this earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We serve God Almighty. Amen. Mm -hmm. Everything revolves around his hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we are so blessed mm -hmm. 
to be the sons and daughters of the kingdom Amen. of Amen. such an all powerful god mm. now this week we'll be lo- looking at uh, king belshazzar yes who happens to be the great son of nebuchadnezzar mm. that we were talking about last week Amen. we will be looking at a series of events yes, that happens in Amen. the life of this king mm. Amen. Um, and at certain times comparison with oh. what happened uh, to the grandfather Amen. Amen. and and it is said how humans don't learn mm. even when the lessons have happened mm. within our own family members mm. Mm. now um mm. We are looking at Belshazzar having given an opportunity to rule. Yeah. Having seen his grandfather mm. leave, getting humbled and mm. getting restored, mm. Belshazzar is given an opportunity to rule. When that opportunity arrives, he also forgets there is a God of heaven. Mm. And he does mm. the worst of things. Mm. And actually it looks like Belshazzar offends God more than Nebuchadnezzar because mm. Um, he directly attacks the creator mm. Mm. when he uses the vessels of God mm. yeah. in in some oki, yeah. in some party that deteriorates to an oki. Mm. And more than that, um, let's allude to the fact that Nebuchadnezzar is given an opportunity mm. to learn. He learns. Mm. Yeah. No matter how late he learns, mm. he does learn. Mm. But Belshazzar, doesn't get that opportunity mm, mm, yeah. to repent he never <coughs> learns yeah mm. well the book of daniel especially in daniel chapter 5 it stands in parallel with daniel chapter 4 yeah and i love what you said when you pre- when you brought last week's study that we did on on nebuchadnezzar from his pride to his humility mm. but when you look at the parallel chapter which is now chapter 5 it says from arrogance to destruction. Oh, yes. And I need us to observe the beauty in that. See, Nebuchadnezzar had pride, but he was humbled at the end of the yeah. day. Mm. His grandson is arrogant, it's but destroyed. he's destroyed at mm. the end of the day. Mm. And this says something about the level of arrogance and pride. That mm. there comes a time where you resist the power of God. Mm. 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 That's the only thing that God is left with, is the destruction. And and you know, when I look at Balshazar and his grandfather and Nebuchadnezzar, like you said earlier on Mama B, <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar, when he captured the, Jude, the, the Hebrews from mm. Judah, mm. he brought the temples, the, the temple's vessels, yeah. yes. and he kept them in the God's temple, in his God's temple, mm. which was showing that he respected the sacred status of the vessels that came from the temple of Jerusalem. Mm. But his son on the other side takes the, 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 the utensils mm. of mm. God, mm. and he does an orgy, mm. desecrates the holy things of God. And you know, when mm. I looked at that, we are kind of reminded of the little horn power in, in Daniel chapter 8, mm. which also desecrates the temple of the Most High. So this is somewhat the spirit that is in opposition to mm. God. Mm. That's why the author of this book says something very profound. And he says, when he desecrated the temples of God, God saw it as an attack on himself. It was yes. not only an insult, yes. but it was an attack of which he had to deal with. That's why our lesson is called from arrogance to destruction. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I think something that is very, that, that took my, my breath away is how um, Belshazzar's arrogance not only is directed to God, but he's neglecting the people in his city. Mm. When he should be defending his city from mm. from attacks from the what are these the Medes and the Persians, the Persians. Mm. he's having a great fest. I mean, who does that honestly? Yeah. So it shows his 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 arrogance at a level that he was passionate about being rebellious against God yeah. so much that he was even neglecting his duties and responsibilities. Yes. Mm. So in this lesson, we are looking at the night mm. when Babylon the Great fell mm. oh. and the interpretation of the of the dream yes. that daniel had given to king nebuchadnezzar now i want us to look at mm. belshazzar's feast yes ma'am mm. yes ma'am let's look at it in depth because this is oh. the reason yeah. why 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 babylon failed yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 um in fact what i can say about uh, this feast is that uh, this was a great feast mm. Mm. And it is evident from the fact that prominent people, a thousand of prominent people were present in this feast. Mm. You know, when I read my lesson about this feast, I wanted to understand the feast very well. Yes, ma'am. It says uh, Belshazzar orders this feast. It was a big 
celebration, mm. which de degenerated into an orgy. Mm. Mm. Now, I went to my dictionary. I wanted to, to understand what is this orgy or orgy. Yes, ma'am. It says, it's a wild, uncontrolled party <laughs> involving a lot of drinking oh. and sexual activity. Mm. Yeah. It was a drinking spree. Mm. You know, glasses were flying. <laughs> and those who wanted to do sex were involved in that mm. activity. Mm. Mm. That is why, and he used in that type of feast, he used the sacred vessels oh my. from the temple, from the Jerusalem temple, Mercy. in the type of feast. Mm. Hence, the writing, the mysterious writing on the wall. And you know, Coco, once we're still there, when I look at Daniel chapter 5, yeah. and particularly verse 4, once we're still at the point where they're drinking from the holy utensils of God, mm. it says they drank wine and praised the gods of gold, number yeah. one, and of silver, and of brass, and of iron, and of wood and of stone. Now we are told uh, by the historians that in Babylon they had a system of counting called a sexagist. Well, did, I, did, I, did I pronounce it well? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it says the Babylonians used the, the, says that the sexagismal system, mm -hmm. a system based on the number 60 in contrast with the decimal system that we use which is based on the number 10. 10. And we are told that looking at the different gods, they all count to 6. Yeah. The gods that they praised while drinking from the holy vessels of God's mm. utensils. Mm. And the Bible uh, and history says that this, these six gods represented the totality of the gods of Babylon. Mm. So they worshipped the fullness of their paganism mm. while drinking from the holy cups of God. Mm. Thus insulting and placing an attack on God mm. himself. A high act mm. of arrogance which deserves destruction. Mm. Not only that, you will notice that the elements that are being counted here, the six of them, are in the order of the statue of, of the golden statue. Oh, yes. In the order except for the wood. Yeah. That that's where the clay is. Yes, mm. yes. I Furthermore think, I think about talking about this. <laughs> yes, it's in the correct order. It's in the except correct order. for the yes, wood. The wood is not there. Yeah. Uh, it's the it's it the clay. The, the clay. Mm. Yeah, man. Um yeah. Let us notice that um, Belshazzar yes, and his people are worshipping the completeness of evil mm. in the vessels of the completeness of mm. God. Hey. Hence the creature fights God directly, the creator directly. Hey. Um, Nebuchadnezzar's hey, hey, issue is postponed hey, for hey, seven years. Hey, He's given grace for seven years. Hey, Nebuchadnezzar. Hey, Belshazzar's hey, issue is decided immediately. Hey, he hey, is not given a moment hey, longer, but hey, his cup of iniquity fills immediately and destruction falls on him immediately. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe let me, um, before I go there, you will notice that uh, Belshazzar's act is also compared to the woman in Revelation chapter twenty, mm. yes, chapter seventeen, Thank you. verses four to six. Mm -hmm. yes, this this woman sit, is dressed in scarlet, and mm. on her head it is written Babylon, Babylon mother of Harlots, and all of that. Yeah. Mm. Um, she's drinking the blood of the mm. saints. Drinking from the cup. You see, <laughs> we we are looking at the contrast yeah. here, yeah, yeah, and yeah. and you will notice that that woman is a direct. He has direct attack on the church of God, yes, which is a direct attack uh, to God. Yes, this woman resembles the mm. end time, oh. and Belshazzar oh. resembles the then time, yeah. oh, which beautiful. simply means what happened to Belshazzar. Hey. shall happen to everybody hey. at the end time. Hey. We have followed in his, Those in his who will footsteps. Drink from mm. the cup of iniquity will yes. suffer the judgments of God, yes. even in the last days, yeah. according to the book of Revelation. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm. And then maybe the question we should be asking ourselves today is, hmm. Hmm. have we hanged the holy cups yeah. of God in an unholy manner? Hey. What is hmm. it that God has said is holy? Hey. That we have handled wrongly. Mm. Mm. If there is any one time that we did that, mm. we have dis desecrated any holy things of God, oh, then we so. should know yeah. that the very same judgment that fell on Belshazzar shall fall on us and it's going to be done hastily. Mm. Because we, when, when people do this, their profession is immediate. Mm. They are cut off. Mm. 
from life immediately. Mm. And if they are not cut off and sent to the dead, mm. they become mm. the dead amongst the living. Hey. Mm. I'm reminded of a text that says, mm. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the living yes. God, and he who defiles it, God will destroy them. Mm. Yes. And that's the parallelism that we should also keep our bodies as a holy mm. temple of mm. the Holy Amen. Spirit. Because anyone who desecrates the temple of God suffers destruction. Mm. Not yes. only judgments mingled with grace, but mm. judgment that comes with destruction. Our mm. bodies are the sacred temple of mm. the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, allow me to bring this to us. For somebody who's looking at this from the sideline, you might be thinking, I mean, why would the Lord make such a big deal out of such a small thing, just a simple mm -hmm. vessel? I mean, I do not break the Sabbath or anything, I just use a cup. Yeah. But I want us to realize something that even with the small things that we think they are small, mm -hmm. those are the little things that might make us lose heaven mm -hmm. because we yeah. overlook them when they're actually great and forget the consequences of what they may be. Mm -hmm. So every small thing that we make, we should always have the Lord in our hearts, no matter how small it may seem. Yeah. Amen. Um, let's go further and look at the woman in Revelation chapter 17. Okay, um, she gives to people a corrupted doctrine, mm. corrupted gospel. Mm. Then uh, let's look at the end church, the Laodicean church. Mm. God says you are neither hot nor cold, uh, but you are lukewarm. lukewarm. I will mm. spew you out of my mouth. Yes. Mm. What is the reason? She is affected mm. by the gospel. Mm. of this hallowed mm. i have to say let us be careful what gospel is in our churches mm. are we still preaching the original gospel or a distorted gospel mm. do we want to hear the mm. original gospel mm. or we are so used to the distorted gospel that we don't even appreciate the messengers of truth mm. Mm. and once you're in still fact, there okay go go oh i just wanted to mention that uh, mm. Belshazzar had no regard for the true God. Mm. If you analyze all the things that he did together with his friends uh, in that orgy, mm. it, it indicates to us that Belshazzar had no regard mm. yeah. Yeah, for, for the God. true God. And whilst on, on Mama P said something about uh, uh, the end time church yeah. and them drinking from the cup. Now when you look at Daniel chapter 5, it's a cup that is holy in front of God. Mm. But what is done and what is drank, what is used to drink from the cup is corrupt. Mm. Mm. And in the last days, the woman will also have a glass, which is an illusion of the cup mm. that yeah. Belshazzar is using. So that, that then says to me and you that the cup itself might have an origin from God and might appear Christian. Mm. But what mm. is inside of the cup, yeah. the gospel, is distorted and it's polluted, it's poisonous. Mm. You know? yes. and these are the parallels that I'm seeing from the text. Yeah. Mm. Now the king and his wives and concubines and his entourage are enjoying the party and those that were close to him. In their drunken stupor, suddenly a hand, a hand an, an uninvited guest arrives and it is a hand and it rides on the wall. Now there's something that happens um, that is very striking here. The moment Belshazzar sees a hand writing on the wall, Oh. He is drunk, mm. but suddenly he becomes sober. Yeah. Yeah. He realizes there is a problem here. Yeah. Yeah. Something has just happened. Hey. It's just <clears throat> happened. The writer says even his knees were knocking. Mm. Hey. He realizes there is a problem here. Yeah. Yeah. Even when he is drunk. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we are told, I'm sorry, my sister. Okay. We are told that his face became pale. Mm. Yes. As so, the fingers of a man's hand wrote a message on the wall. Yes. yes. He became sober. Hey. <clears throat> he became sober. Yeah. And immediately after that, Belshazzar calls for his wise men yeah. mm. and the Chaldeans to say, come and give me mm. uh, the interpretation, interpretation. Yeah. of the writing on the wall. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. I found a very interesting quote here. It says, on top of all his sins, then the king attempts to find wisdom in their own places. Yeah. And that is something that we usually do. Once we have yes. sinned, we are scared to, we're not even scared, we overlook what the Lord can, can do for us. Mm. And we go looking for, 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 for solutions from people who, are, who, who didn't even create us. When we forget the verse that is in the, in the first book of John chapter 1, verse 7 and 8, where it says, if we confess our sins to him, he mm. is just yeah. to forgive us. So this is something that Belshazzar didn't do because 
once we find ourselves in, in trouble, it's, mm. it's difficult for us to, to go back to the Lord and we forget his dominion over us. Mm. Amen. Amen. And another thing to add to what you have said, uh, Lisa, mm. it says here, he called for the wise men of Babylon mm. Mm -hmm. to come and read and interpret, to give an interpretation of this uh, mystery, mm. which was written, written on the wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we are told that this message was written in their own language. Yes. yes. Aramaic. Aramaic. Mm. But they were they were not able to, to read, read it. Oh. and Understand. to make sense of mm. what is being said. Yeah. Mm. And this might remind us of what the Lord speaks through the prophet Isaiah. Yes, mm. Let us look at um, Isaiah 29, yeah. verse 14. Isaiah 29 verses 14. Yes. Uh, while we are still looking for Isaiah 29 verses 14, yes, I want us to look at one other thing. Belshazzar does not only ask for the interpretation, mm. he promises that whoever mm. gives the interpretation shall mm. receive mm. certain gifts mm. and shall be dead in the kingdom <coughs> oh. because his father was still alive. Yeah. Mm. Um, he says he gives these gifts so that he makes sure that whoever shall give the interpretation shall give the best in interpretation. Purple clothing, a mm. color worn by mm. royalty in ancient times, yeah. a yeah. chain of gold, wow. which is a sign of high social status, mm -hmm. and the position of being the third mm. in the kingdom, third ruler yeah. in the kingdom. So this is promised. Mm. Whoever is able to give the correct interpretation, mm. this you shall receive. You can proceed, ma'am. Okay. Amen. Amen. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among these people, even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, mm, and mm. the understanding of their prudent men mm. shall be hidden. Mm. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Something that I've, I've noticed a lot in the book of Daniel is that whenever something happened, the kings tend to go to, to wrong people for wisdom. Yeah. And forgetting that um, the Lord giveth wisdom, as it says in Proverbs 2 verse 6, that the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Mm. So this is something that they forgot. I, I pray that we may never forget that wisdom comes from God. So everything that we say is not from us, but it is from God. Yeah. Even what we're mm -hmm. doing at the moment, it's not from us, it is through God that we're actually able to do it. Amen. Yeah. And back to the hand that wrote on the wall. We are told that it wrote in Aramaic. Mm. And the Chaldeans and the astrologers and the soothsayers and the king himself were Babylonians. And really the language that they used was the Aramaic mm. language. Mm. But funny enough, they could not understand their own language that mm. was written on the wall. Yeah. Because the judgments were written by God and with God he reveals the things of, of, of the spirit to those mm. who are foolish. Mm. And to those who are wise in the kingdom, they are confounded. Yeah. Mm. And that is why his intelligence could not understand their own language that was written mysteriously by the hand of God. Why? Because God wanted to show them something that it does not work with those who are high, but yeah. he works with those who are down and low. And we are told that Daniel at that time was not there. Mm -hmm. He was not consulted. Yeah. He must have probably been 80 years by the time. He was mm. an old rusty man. And the king is using new people, young people, a new panel. Mm. But the king does not remember that Daniel interpreted the dreams and the visions of his grandfather. Mm. He does not remember the, the criterion mm. of Daniel and his resume. But what he does is he sidelines Daniel. Mm. To do okay. what? To go to his intelligence. Mm. Mm. And, and that, that I just found it to be so interesting. Yeah. And the very same Daniel who's put aside is the one whom will interpret that, showing that God reveals his mysteries to those who are deemed foolish. Yes. And to those who are wise, he makes them foolish. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let us um, further realize that um, Belshazzar and his people were in a party mood. Mm. They were having fun. Yeah. Mm. Now the party spirit has been broken. Mm. They are sitting with a problem. They can't find solutions to the problem. Mm -hmm. And suddenly the queen enters mm. to try and, <laughs> and, and fill the room yep. with some soberness oh. so that they can um, find solution mm. to a problem that has just uh, happened. Amen. Yeah. The queen comes and she provides direction Amen. to the king. Amen. That remember, yeah. there is a man called Daniel. Yes. Yeah. Not only that, like Garabo had says, she does give an oral, oral resume of Daniel. Mm. He has interpreted dreams before. Mm. He has the spirit of God in him. Notice Nebuchadnezzar. 
when Daniel interprets his first dreams, then he is put in charge mm. of the mm. magicians mm. and mm. the Chaldeans, mm. and and he is said to have the spirit of gods, mm. the, it, and it's me- spelled with a small letter G. Mm. Interpretation being, mm. they believed maybe mm. the power could have been amongst their gods or mm. a god a little higher than their gods, mm. but mm. not realizing is actually the god of heaven. With the capital letter mm. G, yes, yes, the only true God, yes. mm. the creator God. Mm. Now the queen indicates to Belshazzar that he has the spirit of God. Mm. Mm. He's able to interpret dreams. Mm. Mm. He interpreted the dreams of your mm. grandfather. Mm. Mm. Then one wonders, mm. how could Belshazzar forget so quickly? Mm. Mm. An incident so huge mm. of a king humiliated in front of his subjects. Mm. Mm. And Belshazzar, it happens under his own family roof. Mm. Yet mm. a few years down the line, he has forgotten yeah. and he's walking in a different path. Mm. Yeah. And I like the voice of the of the Queen Mother. Mm. It says here the words sound yes. like a rebuke to Belshazzar mm. for having yes, ignored a person, the only person in the kingdom who mm. can interpret. Uh, mysterious writings. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, just to add to what we have said, yeah. it was surprising why Belshazzar forgot about Daniel mm. because he knew what he what Daniel did during during yeah. the time of Nebuchadnezzar. Mm. Mm. He did mm. a good job interpreting a uh, Nebuchadnezzar's dream, yeah. but today he's having a problem. Mm. He forgets about Daniel. Yeah. Mm. Actually, so, one yeah. of my favorite writers says. We can only feel, fear the, the future mm. if we mm. have forgotten yes. how the Lord has led us in the past. Oh, we thank yes, God yeah. for the Queen Mary. Mm. She remembers mm. the power of the God of Daniel. Mm. And she knows for sure that mm. the God of Daniel is able to give a solution in this instance. Mm. Yeah. And truthfully so, mm. Daniel is able to give the king the interpretation of his dream. Yeah. Mm. But I'm also worried about uh, Belshazzar's carelessness. Yeah. He has a very careless spirit when it comes to mm. the issues of God, which mm. is actually, which is what is a problem amongst most Christians. Mm. We are accurate with everything else yeah. except the things of God. Yeah, yeah. And then um, that should answer why we even arrive yeah. at church late. Mm. And when we arrive early, we want to sit at the back and those who arrive late have no option but to mm-hmm. sit in the front. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how careless mm-hmm. we yeah. take the things of God. Mm-hmm. So while we still have time, while the Holy Spirit still talks to us, then we should take advantage of such times yeah. and mm-hmm. listen to the word of God. And not only that, gather strength yeah. mm-hmm. for winter when we are in summer. Yeah. So that when such things befall us, we remember yeah. that there is a God of heaven. Mm. Mm. In fact, we do not get a direct answer from the Bible why Belshazzar decided to ignore Daniel. Mm. Yes. Uh, there are a few assumptions here in the lesson that may be age-wise because Daniel was now in his 80s, he was a pensioner mm. uh, like myself, you know. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> The king may have also decided to ignore mm. Daniel because he did not want to commit himself yeah. to Daniel's court. Yeah. And now weighed mm. and found one thing. Oh. Daniel is coming now with the interpretation. Yeah. 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 That king, you have been weighed and you have been found one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let us notice one striking thing about Daniel. Daniel is offered a lot of these things. He has had the reward that mm. comes with the mm. person mm. that is given to the person who is mm. able to interpret the dream. Mm. He refuses the reward. Mm. Mm. And then when he is done with the interpretation, mm. he then accepts the reward. Mm. He is teaching the king a lesson. Mm. Mm. It is not what you offer. That yeah. gives me the ability to interpret. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah. the God of heaven yeah. Yeah. gives me the ability to yeah. interpret. Yeah. Yeah. If I receive what you have offered, yeah. it is not because I had the power to yeah. interpret mm. or your gifts made yeah. me interpret, but the God of heaven yeah. made me interpret. Mm. I am only accepting this mm. yeah. because you are a mere human being. Yeah. That's all that you have to offer. Yeah. Yeah. But God has given me much more. Yes. That's yeah. why I can give you that which you can't give to me. Amen, mm. amen, amen, amen. In fact, that is a lesson to us, what uh, Daniel is doing, is showing us here, mm. that um, he knew about his priorities. Mm. Yes. And mm. uh, his character 
is teaching us a lot. Yeah. There are many things that are being offered to people yeah. right now as we live, you know, and we are being promised millions of money. If you can do this for me, I'll give you so many yes, millions. Awesome. You know, mm. sometimes we fall into the trap, mm. even us as Christians, mm. knowing that mm. that is wrong. Mm. Now, mm. Daniel is reminding us here today, he's teaching us a lesson that we don't have to accept things that we are not supposed to yes. accept. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Now, now, Daniel indicts the king on three counts. Mm. Mm. The first one is you have forgotten the experience of your grandfather. Mm. Yeah. yeah. How could you forget mm. a universal event? Yeah. It was actually a universal event. Mm, that's true. Mm. How could you forget hey. something so big yeah. happening under your own roof? Yeah. Mm. Had you remembers, mm. had you remembered, you were supposed to humble yourself. Mm. Yeah. Ask for repentance. Yeah. Mm. Secondly, you take the vessels of God. Mm. Yeah. Of course, yeah. This has the name of God on it. It mm. belongs to him. Yeah. It has been dedicated for yeah. his service. Yeah. Even your grandfather mm. put yeah. it away yeah. in the yeah. temple of his own gods. Yeah. Mm. You have taken that, which is so important. Yeah. Mm. And we have yeah. used it mm. for corruption. Yeah. Mm. Lastly, you have failed. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Lastly, <laughs> you have failed mm. to give honor mm. to the only God, yeah. the only true mm. God. Amen. I find a very um, important trait from Daniel. With, with the power that he was given to be able to interpret dreams and everything, he's not arrogant. And just from that, I think Belshazzar should have learned something. Because as Daniel is doing the work, he doesn't give the praise to him, but he gives mm. it back to God, mm. who is the actual person who gave him the power. Mm. So I, I think um, there's something we should learn from Daniel, that um, with what God has given us, we should not be worshippers of ourselves, but mm. be worshippers paths of God and how and and always remember that how we how we handle ourselves around people is is is, is, is preaching on its own so it's important how we behave around people because that on, that on its own should teach people something about us and the God we worship hmm. um now let us uh, look at the meaning of the writing on the wall Amen. Amen. the writing says mene mene tekele of a scene. Amen. Mm. Now, Dev, uh, now um, uh, Daniel is supposed to give the interpretation to the king that Amen. we have been weighed no. and we have been found wanting. Mm. Um, uh, God has numbered your kingdom and mm. finished it. Mm. Take care, you have been weighed in the balances and mm. found wanting. Mm. Mm. And your kingdom has been divided and given to the maids. And the Persian. Mm. You see, before Daniel gives the king the interpretation, the wise men come. Mm. The writer gives us the, 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 the impression that they could have known mm. what the writing meant, but were yeah. afraid to tell the king the truth. Hey. They couldn't give the king mm. the, the bad news. Yes. But Daniel does not fear. Mm. He is bold. Yeah. Mm. Because he knows that what he has is truth. Mm. And Daniel has walked with God before yeah. and understands that God is God the protector and he is able to give uh, the king the judgment as yeah. it is. Yeah. Now let's go on and look at the fall of Babylon. Oh, mm. yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The now, interpreted. Oh, you can carry on, my brother. Okay. Okay. Now, while they saw uh, Mene Mene Tekel Ufasin, which mm. simply says you, you've been weighed and found wanting, yes. and your yeah. kingdom has been divided to the Medes mm. and the Persians. Yes. At that time, while they were still in the an orgy, and yeah. they were still in a palace having a big bash, a mm. big party. Uh -huh. Yeah. The the the, the 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 ancient historian Herodotus says that the Persians diverted the river. You see, the power of Babylon. And the supply system of Babylon mm. as a nation was mm. the river Euphrates. Mm. The walls of Babylon were too high for the enemies to walk, to, to enter the, the, the city and infiltrate it to the walls. So they had to diverge the river Euphrates, mm -hmm. lower mm -hmm. the waters, so that they can march in the Persians and slay them whilst they are still drunk. Mm. Mm. And at that time, and at that time, whilst God was pronouncing his judgments, mm. then the Medes and the Persians entered. Mm. Mm. And at that same day, Nebuchadnezzar, no, no, uh, Belshazzar was, was slain. Yeah. And we have what we call the historical. Now, what we're reading about right now is the historical Babylon. Mm. And in the book of Revelation, we've got the end time Babylon. Mm. Mm. And in the book of Revelation, if you go to Revelation chapter 16, verse 12, it will tell you that one of the angels which had the plagues, 
poured the plague upon the water, the river Euphrates. Mm. And that was to impoverish the, 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 the system, the powerhouse, the system that uh, aided in the strength of mm. the end time Babylon. Mm. And that is in the future. Mm. And when you see that, just as long as, and they were judged, remember, because yeah. of they drank from the holy vessels mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. But now when you come to the three angels' messages in uh, Revelation chapter 14, we've got a threefold message there of the last day. Mm -hmm. The first angel's message points people to true worship. Mm. Remember that the symbol of that last mm. means that it's from God, but yes. the content has been polluted. Mm -hmm. Hence Belshazzar and the, and the, and the feast. Yeah. So at that time, God is pointing people to the last day where they are drinking from the wine of the woman who seated on the, with the scarlet that and seated on top of the beast. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look at that carefully, we see that the call to true worship is a call to stop drinking from that last mm -hmm. of distorted doctrine yes. and drink from the well of the true living gospel, the gospel of the Bible. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. The second angel's message warns against, the, the, against false worship. And it says, mm -hmm. Babylon... Babylon has fallen. fallen. Mm. And when you look at the fall of Babylon, now listen, we are talking about the historical and we are looking also at the end time, Babylon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now it says Babylon has fallen, has fallen. It says mm. it twice. Mm. So that means the fall of Babylon is twice mm. in the last days. And when we look at Babylon herself, she is an apostate system. Mm. which has her own daughters. She's the mother of Halots. Oh. So she as a system has fallen and the daughters as ho have also fallen. Mm. And the second angel's message warns against the double fold fall mm. of Babylon, that mm. she has Amazing. become now a mother yeah. of every unclean spirit mm. in the last days. And God in these last days is calling us to come out of her in Revelation chapter 18. Yeah. Mm. And worship God mm. who created the heavens and the yeah. earth. Because just as the historical Babylon of mm. Belshazzar fell, mm also the end time Babylon will also fall. Mm. Then ushers in the last angel's message, the mm. third angel's message, mm. which is the judgments of God upon all those who will receive the mark of this system which is fallen. Mm. 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 In fact, to add to that, uh, we are told that Belshazzar had been given many opportunities yeah. mm. for knowing and doing God's will. He had seen his grandfather Nebuchadnezzar banished from the society of men. Mm. Mm. And he had seen the king driven from the kingdom and made the companion of beasts yeah. mm. in the field. Yeah. He should have learned from those experiences. But mm. because he had disregarded God, yeah. hence Amen. the fall of Babylon. Amen. 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 Let us also notice that the writer states something here about mm. Belshazzar. It says, much as his character was the way it was, mm. Belshazzar makes sure he fulfills his promise mm. that whoever gives me the interpretation, mm. I shall give the following gifts. Yeah. 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 Then one wonders if Belshazzar, still with some good left in him, mm. received such judgment, yes. then we should be thankful to God mm -hmm. that judgment has been stayed. Hey. from us mm. because if we were to do self-introspection today mm. is there anything good mm. that mm. is left of the current christians and the current uh, church or oh, god is just being gracious Amen. Mama mentioned something very interesting here she says the the all the people who have been called to interpret the the, the, the writing on the wall mm. they they might have known what it meant mm. but they didn't come out and say it but Daniel gets there and says it as it is. So it, it comes back to the end times today. Mm. We are we are warned in the Bible that when the end times come, mm. people who will stand for the truth will be beheaded. Yeah. And, mm. and Revelation chapter 20 verse 4 says, All those who have been beheaded for his word will have a great word. That will be to live with God eternally. Yeah. So what should we do then? It means we should truly follow the, um, God's commandments, that is, mm. to go out there and preach his word. Whatever happens, he is with us. Let us not fear. Let's have that godly spirit that leads us to say things as they are without fear, because the Lord is with, is with us, and he will surely reward us for it. Amen. Mm. Amen. Let's also look at the character of Belshazzar here. He is told the enemies have surrounded the city. Mm. Mm. His gates are closed. Mm. His walls are in place. Mm. The river is running in the city. He calls for a party. Mm. Let's look at it logically. Mm. It made a lot of sense mm. for him to have a party. No one would go over his wall. The security Neither could anyone penetrate his mm. wall. Mm. Yeah. Or could anyone open his gate. Mm. They say Babylon had so much supply of, of food that it could take them years wow. 
Mm. Even if the enemy chose to camp outside their walls for years, mm. they had so much supply inside. The city. Yeah. They didn't fear anything. Mm. Yeah. So the only thing they needed to do was to close their gates. Mm. Then they stay inside. Mm. Enjoy the supplies that they've been keeping. Mm. Yeah. The water is there in the city. Mm. Yeah. So he had no reason to worry. Mm. This is a huge warning mm. for yeah. the end time t- yeah. church. Self-sufficiency. Yeah. Yeah. We sit back and relax when the enemy is regrouping. Yeah. Just when we think we know what we are doing, yeah. the enemy yeah. attacks on us yeah. and then we'll be giving the very same cry that we've been warned about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, summer has passed yeah. and we have not been saved mm. Mm. and we don't even understand mm. how we're not we have not been saved when yeah. we were so sure yeah. we are inside yeah and we are safe yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah you know somebody says something about arrogance and it makes an example about animals you know when 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 buffaloes are passing through the water they run mm-hmm. and let's say a lion is there and wants to hunt one now what the lion will do is will go into the water and as they pass through the water together there will be this one that will want to walk alone because it's too high and the enemy will push it towards the side and push it towards the side that no no i don't have to be with the other people because mm-hmm. of arrogance and pride mm-hmm. and the more the devil singles you outside is the more yeah. vulnerable you are because mm-hmm. as a collective group it's hard for him to come in mm-hmm. but he has to single out one of the animals mm-hmm. he knows that when when you're on the side on your own can oh, attack easy. you. Yeah. Mm. And that's what I see about pride and arrogance, mm. that it's mm. actually a strategy of the evil one, of singling you out of God's protection, because God humbles the proud yeah. and mm. uplifts the humble. So once he knows that your chest is up, he singles you outside, and then goes your salvation. Mm. So we should be very cautious of arrogance. Yeah. We should be cautious as pride. We should love people and treat them with humility. Mm. And also let us notice that when we speak about end time, Hmm. we are not speaking about something that's far-fetched, something that's in the future. Hmm. We are living in the end time. Amen. So it is very imperative for us to learn and understand all these events that happen in Daniel Hmm. and in Revelation. If we don't, we'll be overtaken by events. Amen. Just when we think the events are still going to happen, mm. we could realize they've happened. Amen. Probation has, has closed. Mm. We have been left out and we don't understand how. Amen. When we thought we knew everything, everything yeah. was in our fingertips. Yeah. Yeah. Just to summarize this lesson, our viewers at home, let us notice that Belshazzar is so disobedient that finally his cup fills. Yeah. Let us look at how your cup gets full. Let us look at the full cup principle. When one is born, an empty cup stands between you and God. Mm. When you sin, Mm. you gradually fill the cup, Mm. bit by bit. When you go back to God and repent, Mm. like Nineveh, God takes all the contents of the cup and he throws them away, Mm. absolutely. And the cup remains empty again. And he puts the cup between you and himself Mm. and we go back to our sins and gradually fill the cup Mm -hmm. and when the cup finally is filled is filled to capacity god turns his back Mm. probation on that particular individual is closed Mm. when god turns his back on you there is no one who can intercede on your behalf Mm -hmm. a few things happen to you it's Mm. either you die and when god wants you dead he comes down himself personally like he did to Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm. Or he sends a fellow sinner like he did to the Israelites. Mm. Or he lets you walk amongst the living when you are already dead. Mm. Let us take heed then that we don't fall into these traps. Mm. God has created for us escape routes. Let's take advantage of those escape routes Amen. and prepare for his coming kingdom. Mm. He who decides to live, to remain mm. his head Amen. and decided not to choose right. Amen. Those who have chosen right let the name of the Lord be praised. Mm-hmm. Our lesson for next week is Lesson 7. And the title for the lesson is From the Lion's Den to the Angel's Den. Mm-hmm. May the Lord richly bless you and keep you till we meet again. Sister Lisha will close in prayer. Shall I close our eyes? Our kind and loving Father Lord, your word has been spoken. The seed has been sown, Lord. Please, Lord, water it not only to the viewers at home, but even with us, Lord. May we not only be the ones who are sending you a message and yet who are doing contrary to it. Dear Lord, please be with us all the times, Lord, and 
please depart with us as we are about to leave this place and with our viewers at home, bless their families and their you families. Come and come for you today. Come to us and come to us today. I pray. Amen. 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 Is your life so full of duty that your Lord is crowded out? Do you neglect to study and to pray? Would your heart be ready and would glory fill your soul if your master would come for you today?